My YZ 450F, it always gets quite a lot of attention and it. it looks quite trick to be fair. Now with the additional WP stuff, it is getting quite a bit of attention and obviously people are asking, you know, why have I got the WP set up? And the reason being is, again, is that, you know, over the years, the 450 has been known just to lose a little bit of front end grip. And, um, and I just wanted to see, you know, what the difference was. We haven't seen a lot of the, the WP in Japanese bikes. Yes, we've seen it in Steve Dixon's in the race team. And we've also seen Harry Kulas, you know, running it in his 450 Honda for cab screen. Back in the day, we did see Sean Simpson run it for a little while in his Yamaha. And the suspension, the suspension's trick, you know. So if, if you can buy bolt on parts, which are, which, which are already set up and that you know that you've got such a wide range and, and possibly, you know, imp improve your riding, why not? I've been out riding the YZ450F a handful of times now, and today I'm at Flatwell Heath Motor Park. And uh, the track, I quite like the track. You know, it, it's uh, it's got a, it offers a lot, and it's really compact for the space that just for the space that it's got. Um, the track itself, the conditions, it's, it's quite hard and stony underneath, but it's got a real good base of of wood chip and uh, mixed in mulch. So so that you really do get them kickers when you come into the turn and. And the guys here, they didn't really know how to prep the track, so they've, been, they've, got, the, they've got the watering system dialed, and, and the way that they prep the track is, yeah, is second to none. So it just reminds me of the old days of riding around the SX MX, and you really need to get the bike moving and working good. So today I was really concentrating on, on the track shock. I was, just, um, I was just adjusting the low speed and the high speed. And, and what I found by adjusting those two uh, together was is that I could really get the... Um, the shock to sit up. When I was coming into the turns, I had the rear shock just sitting up a little bit more in the stroke. So it just allowed me just to really come into the turn and into the rut, standing, and then really just squat down in that sweet spot in the turn. Whereas previously, where, where I had the high speed, it was, uh, it, it, basically it was, it was open too much. So, and where, where it was open too much, about six clickers, it, it was just squatting too much. Um, so I just wound it in, you know, I went to I think on the high speed from all the way in, I backed it out 30 clicks and um, it just held it nicely in the stroke. On the low speed, I was going to both extremes. So I was going one way a lot, then I was going the other way. And I just found on the low speed that when, when you wound it all the way in and come back 13, you know, that, that was the sweet spot as well. And it just, just allowed just the shock to, just to move again. And again, the front forks I feel is that it really does allow me on the 450 especially just to be a, a little bit more aggressive with the front brake and, and really get some good front end grip and get in and out of the turns. Also as well, as I was coming off and hitting the transitions, I just felt that the bike was just, it was hooking up and driving perfectly. So it was really catapulting me nicely. And I've got to say, look, in standard form, the KYB suspension in the Yamaha 450, you know, it is second to none in standard form. It is ideal. Yamaha have managed to, build a suspension which basically meets for a wide range of riders and most people are happy. But the reason for me trying out the WP was, was just that I just wanted something a little bit more upgraded, a little bit more firmer, something, something a bit more firmer which, which would just allow me just to push on a little bit more on the 450. I could have sent my standard stuff off and got that revalved and reset up or resprung. And at some point I probably will. You know, I will try and get the best out of the KYB in standard form. But for now, you know, people do like to buy a bolt-on factory kit. And WP is a bolt-on factory kit. It is an upgrade on the suspension. But what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm gonna go out, I'm just gonna, you know, just digest what from today ride at another track just so I can get a good feel and a good balance and then when I know that I've got a good base there I'm going to start adjusting and do the same as what I did with the rear shock but this time I'm just going to start adding a little bit more on the spring because I found that I was just winding into the compression and just trying to make the forks a little bit harder and a little bit firmer so now I'm just going to start adding some preload to the to the springs because at the moment they're totally backed off I can probably go up a spring rate but for me personally it you know, I just want to get these springs working and just wanted to get some hours into the front forks and into the rear shock uh, as quick as possible and just get, get, some, 
you know, get all the parts moving quickly. So, so the next thing for me now is, is, is to just work on, the, work on the front forks and then I'm gonna look at the spring rates and maybe adjust them and just see if I can just find some more time, just find a little bit more speed. The WP suspension is really click sensitive and you can feel when you, well, you know, when you, when you do a couple of clicks, you can really feel it out on track. When I did adjust the high speed, I could really feel the, the shock, you know, the shock action was a lot different. So, you know, that, that's a big plus because then whatever I feel, I know that I can, I can adjust on the track and just find that balance and find, find the happy medium. I haven't gone into a great deal of depth or exactly how the forks work. They're cone valve spring. You know, it's a spring system. If you'd like to check out exactly how the WP front forks work right across the range, you know, regarding with air and spring. Also as well, you know, with, with the bladder system in the Trax rear shock and the Trax rear shock, we, we've done a previous video which explains all of that in, and we'll, we'll drop that into the description below.